Before. Make some noise. Yeah, that's a lot of people. By a round of applause, who's coming here for the first time? Make some noise. Good. We only lost like one or two people. Awesome. Yeah. Welcome to tonight's show of Laugh Track City. We're going to be doing some uh, improv comedy for y'all. Everything that's going to be done is going to be made up on the spot. Uh, all the characters, all the dialogue, all the locations are going to be based on, like, they're going to be inspired based on your suggestions. So. Throughout the night, we're going to be going out to you to ask for a couple of prompts. Uh, so just feel free to shout it out, and then whatever you shout out will be inspiring what's going to happen on stage. Uh, let's warm y'all up a little bit. Uh, on the count of three, can you just yell out your name? So one, two, three. Yeah. That was good. That can inspire a made-up scene on the spot. Take the first letter of your name and say a new word that begins with that same first letter. One, two, three. <laughs> Very good. Great. Uh, maybe like uh, there's an object on the stage right now. On the count of three, just yell out what that object is. One, two, three. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's yeah. a chair. Yeah. There's, there's a chair. The only answer. Yeah. Uh, shout out maybe uh, an intellectual property. So somebody you've watched like on streaming or seen in person before. One, two, three. Game of Thrones. Nice. All right. Love all those intellectual properties. Shout out your social security number. One, two, three. <laughs> One day I'll that, get that. You. Worked, that worked. That worked. That would have worked on me, Sean. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, give it up for Andrew up in the booth with lights and sound. <laughs> give it up 
for Justin, who's running the box office. Yeah. He sells lots of lovely treats. That's enough from me and Sean for now because we're not doing the show by ourselves. We have an entire cast backstage ready. Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Alex. <laughs> we. Edgar. So yeah, Carolyn. And I'm Sean. <laughs> and for our first game, we're gonna play a game that's called Playground Insults. This is a guessing game, and it's actually gonna require two competitors going one on one. Who are those two people gonna be? Right here. All right, let's send them out nice. with some thunderous applause. <laughs> All right, they're gonna go outside into our soundproof balcony. They won't hear anything we get right now. So what we're gonna do is, uh, Hui and Edgar are gonna be transformed into little kids on the schoolyard, throwing insults at each other. But what we need right now is the suggestion for what the insults are. So starting off first, we wanna get an adjective, so a descriptive word, but we wanna make it a little challenging, which means we need a descriptive word that's three syllables. So like beautiful, that's an example. What's another three syllable uh, adjective? Abrasive. What's that? Abrasive? Nice. Abrasive. Over there, abrasive is the suggestion. Let's get another three syllable word. An adjective still. Annoying. Annoying. Perfect. Annoying over there. <laughs> Excellent. Now, what we're going to do is get a suggestion of a verb. So it's like a three syllable verb that ends in ing. So, like skydiving, for example. What's another verb? Dishwashing. Dishwashing. Over dishwashing. there, dishwashing. Let's get one more. Backpacking, thank you, backpacking over there. And last but not least, we need a noun. So a person, place, or thing, again, stick into three syllables, like elephant is an example. What's another one? Pizza Hut. Say again? <laughs> Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, okay. Uh, Pizza Hut, over there. One more. Dinosaur. Dinosaur, I love it, dinosaur over there. Excellent, give it up for your suggestions, everybody. <laughs> The way this works, Edgar and Hui will come back in momentarily, and again, they'll be transported onto a schoolyard, and they're going to be thro uh, throwing insults at each other back and forth. Now, what their insults are going to be are going to be inspired but by what these fine people are currently doing. They're going to be conveying these large multisyllabic words into smaller monosyllabic words, and they're going to show them through the art of pantomime, trying to get Hui and Edgar to piece these bigger words together. And as they are guessing, you're gonna help give them a little bit of incentive. So if they're getting close, give them a polite golf clap. If they do say one of these hard words like Pizza Hut, let's go crazy! Woo! Awesome. We are actors, we have very low self-esteem. So as much encouragement that you can give us as possible. But right now, uh, let's go ahead and review. So uh, who are you gonna give clues to? Uh, we'll give clues to Edgar. Edgar, great, yeah. Edgar. Uh, what is Edgar calling Hui? Uh, Edgar is gonna be calling Hui an annoying backpacking dinosaur. Excellent. Right. And what is Hui calling Edgar? Hui is calling Edgar an abrasive dishwashing pizza hut. Excellent. <laughs> I'm all ready, are you all ready? Yeah. All right, let's welcome it back in by saying, get back in here, get back in here. Get back in here! Get back in here! Get back in here! Uh, we go ahead and stand there. Edgar, you're over here. So, uh, to indicate who goes first, uh, first person to touch my left hand goes first. That's my right hand. Uh, we is going to begin, so your team is on deck. Get ready, three, two, one, go! Uh, wait. <laughs> uh, we uh, are playing the game of playing around in space. Yeah, yeah, so you are now going to be insulting Edgar. Take it away. Yeah, you're so weak, you can't even do a single sit up. Uh, do you have not no abs? Your, your, your tummy is protruding. <laughs> you need to take a jog around the block to kind of get your things going. You know? Oh, can you even run, walk, uh, scurry, switch? Oh yeah, well, I have some choice words for you. You are such a sneaky ninja listening to the walls and having your ear pressed against the muffle of a dog who's barking and chewing. <laughs> He's whispering in your ear things, whisper and putting bad thoughts in your head. Smash! Well, you may be putting bad thoughts in my head, but I'm gonna just move very quickly, racing, so race, 
across things and get there faster than you can because you suck. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, I'm gonna put gloves on before I challenge you to a duel because your heart is so cold and Fresh! <laughs> oh, my heart is cold. <clears throat> you are always preparing to cook and put something in a pot. You're a pot stir. You're, you're put <laughs> inside. In. You inhale bad juju <laughs> and you exhale it out towards me with your bad breath, your call. And you would like to yell at everyone and scold <laughs> and. <laughs> I might have bad breath, but at least people like to be around me still, and my sleeves are cool. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> sleeves! <laughs> Ab... Brace... Abrace sleeve? Abrace it! <laughs> oh, really? Uh, well, <laughs> you like to think a lot. You are... Shouts, yell at people, and... <laughs> Call foul, uh, ref at people because you're so controlling. You okay? Oh, you. We used to be best friends, but now we are out far apart. We're no, we're boys. Boy, we're boys. You, you, you're just a little boy. You're not even a man yet. You sit there and just watch TV the entire time and then slap things. <laughs> You don't even know how to hang things properly. You put them on the wall, and then they're always crooked, and then you hit things. <laughs> Switch! Oh boy, you know what? You like to squeeze my fingers so hard, and grab my hand, and put a ring on it. Ring! It, in, oh, and you are in, Embarrassing in boy in boy ring in in environmentally in, in, in boy. At least I care about the environment. I eat very cleanly, like you. You just peel things and then put them in the the, the dishwasher. Dish. In boy rolling. In, in no, we're no longer boys. We're men now. We are bear. We are yelling, cheering, rallying. We are being very loud. And you are so loud. Everyone, no one wants to hear what you're saying. That's why we lift things away from you and move them away. We put them away because we don't want you touching them. We scoot them. Uh, we wash them. <laughs> because you make things unclean. And that's why we're singing. Your voice is in Your singing voice is bad. <laughs> Dishwashing. I'm telling you right now, you are screaming. Tantrum throwing loser who likes to yell, hear, uh, shouts, yell, shout, scream. Oh, you are such a loud boy. A pound, <laughs> bang, splash. You don't even know the first thing about dishwashing. You're such a brace of purpose. Uh, you don't even know how to count. You. Use an abacus to do your math. <laughs> but, and, and you don't bring peace around here either. It's just conflict everywhere you go. You kind of look like a blob sometimes. You Do you try the java? The hut?
for noise? <laughs> because oh. I'm trying to get you to say, uh, noisy. Of course! Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for Edgar, though. <laughs> Valiant attempt. Uh, for the next game, we're going to play a game called Two Line Vocabulary. I need uh, three cast members who are playing that game on the stage. Uh, the way this game works is they're going to do a scene, and uh, one cast member can say whatever they want, okay? They have that freedom. So, Sonia, you can say whatever you want. Uh, but the next two cast members on stage are going to have only two lines of dialogue that they can be saying. So, uh, starting first with Dewey, can I get an open-ended uh, statement? It's pretty general, but it could be used in multiple situations. No, I cannot. No, I cannot is one of your lines. And can I get, like, an open-ended question? What is a question? What? Bathroom? <laughs> uh, something a little more open-ended. What? How dare you. How dare you. Okay, yeah. so how dare you and... Uh, no, I cannot. Or I cannot, No, right? I cannot and how dare you. Great, awesome. Uh, and then for Edgar, can I get, uh, what's like uh, a very uh, passionate statement that you might say? Can I get an amen? Can I get it? What? Can, can I, get I get an amen? Oh, can I get an amen? Awesome. Can I get one more uh, question? Is it ready? Is it ready? Cool. So to review, yours two are? No, I cannot. And how dare you? And your two are? Can I get an amen? Is it ready? Excellent. So Sonia can say anything she wants, but she's going to have to balance these two who have these two line restrictions. What is the reason three people might gather besides the obvious? <laughs> well, Funeral, uh, what's something that is, uh, what's a, a type of thing that is having a funeral that would never have a funeral? So like an object, something, this is a funeral for what? Not a person a though. For what? A printer. It's a funeral for a printer. Okay, that is the suggestion. Take it away, Amiga! Oh my gosh. This printer's got me through so many all-nighters. I can't do it, can you bury it? No, I cannot. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, how about we just print one last thing? Can I get an amen? <laughs> How dare you? I, I think we should print the first thing that we ever printed and the last thing we ever printed. So... What was my question? <laughs> Is it ready? Is it ready? <laughs> oh my god, you just broke the printer when it's already dead! How dare you? Can I get an amen? No, no. I cannot. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, it's a ghost printer. It, it's printing! Oh my goodness. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I cannot. You know what? Th this has every single secret that you've ever... This has everything that you've ever said that was me! How dare you! <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Maybe, maybe we should. It's time. It's time to bury it. It's time to bury it. Okay. Here. Can you take the shovel? No, I, I can't. Is it ready? <laughs> yes, it's ready to die. Yes. How dare you? <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that, that's that's a great idea. Um, we 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 should uh say say a prayer. No. I can't. Can I get an amen? No, I cannot. Can I No, get, I cannot! Can I get an amen? No, I cannot! Is it ready? <laughs> yes, it's done. It's done. It's done. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can I get an amen? Amen. Okay. Well, I got something new for you guys. Is it ready? How dare you? It's a laser printer, it's vintage. Can I get an amen? And that's <laughs> Dwayne, when's the last time you replaced your printer ink? <laughs> it's called print at work. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, segue. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. All right, we're going to move on to our next game. It's the game of four square. So can I please get four performers onto the stage, please, and form a box. Four corners here, please. 
So the way that this game works is that uh, each pair is going to be endowed something based on your suggestion. And then at any point, I can yell out, rotate. So I'll yell out, rotate right. And then they'll have to rotate. And then it's a new scene uh, based on another suggestion of yours. And then I'll rotate one more time. And then maybe sometimes I'll be like, rotate twice. Maybe sometimes I'll be like, rotate left. Depends on how chaotic I'm feeling, right? Cool, so uh, for these two here, can I get a relationship that's not familial? Just like, not brother, sister? Coworkers. Coworkers? All right. Uh, can I, I heard like, home wreckers, but coworkers, coworkers. <laughs> coworkers can be homewreckers. <laughs> uh, can I get like, a, what kind of place that they're working at? FedEx. 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 So you guys are coworkers at FedEx. So I'll have you rotate right. For these two, can I just get an emotion? Confused. Confused. So <laughs> yep. you two are confused. Go ahead, rotate right. Uh, this scene here is going to be set in a fictitious world. What kind of fictitious world is this going to be? Star Wars. Star Wars. All right, so you two are a Star Wars scene. Rotate right one more time. And then uh, for these two, anything. Just anything that you want to yell out. <laughs> Disneyland. 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 Cool. Uh, let's review. So rotate right one time. Co-workers and medics. <laughs> Rotate right. Confused. Confused. Rotate right. Star Wars. <laughs> Rotate right. Disneyland. Disneyland. Rotate one more time and uh, take it away whenever you're ready. Go ahead. Hey, I heard Kinko's is coming in today. We're, like, mer we're merging with them. Where'd you hear that? I uh, heard it from Brad. But I ain't seen Brad no more. I ain't seen Brad in days. I don't know. I think it's a takeover. We got to be ready and prepared. I don't know how to copy things, man. I put things in boxes. I tape boxes. Look, we got to stand our ground as FedEx for workers. Rotate right. Hey, I'm a little hungry. Can you pass me the pencil, please? <laughs> Remind me. Is that? Uh, the one with the lead. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> Could really go for a pencil right now. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. LED. Uh, sorry, yeah, that's a, that's like a, a light. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just a little confused as to why you would give that to me when I asked you for a pencil, because I'm hungry. Right. <laughs> and I got you the one with lead. Oh. Because I said lead, and then you said LED. You know what else is weird? PB on the elemental table? Uh, okay, so PB stands for peanut okay, butter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Miss I'm gonna be the first Gungan senator. <laughs> really? You? <laughs> A non-human gonna stand on the Galactic Senate with the likes of me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I'd like to see the day in which a floppy-eared aquatic creature like you has the same voting power as me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Go <laughs> Thanks for showing me around, Donald. Wow. <laughs> yeah. First you know, day? Yeah, my first day. <laughs> hey, Stick with me, I'll show you the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like that. What <laughs> 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 that? Yeah. I think you and I are gonna get along great. I'm glad you don't mind that I'm not wearing pants. Gorsh! I wish I knew more people like that. <laughs> yep. <Rotate Whoa>. right. <laughs> I barricaded the doors. Kinko's isn't getting in here. <laughs> There's an army out there. Yeah. Well, uh, we're FedEx. All right. We're federally exam. We're federal examples. Yeah, federal examples. Yeah. That's right. It may just be the two of us, but we're gonna hold the barricade. Yeah. Here, lick these post-its for strength. Rotate right. <laughs> It's just that I'm so ravenous, so if you could give me anything edible, like a post-it or a pencil, right, that would be super right, helpful. Right, 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 right. I, I wish I could. I'm looking around this room, and I'm trying to find something that we can eat. What about that? The thermostat? Um, I mean, I, I tried biting it. I couldn't get through. Maybe you can. You have stronger teeth than I do. I don't know about nutrition, though. Mm, mm. Yeah. Oh, Charlie Chaplin cooked a shoe. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Misa have the votes. Mm. <laughs> I demand a recount. Let me count these myself. One, two, three. It's too long. There's too many signatures here. Um, Misa think the people know what the pizza people want. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Well, of course, Donald, I got in trouble with HR. Because I started to not wear pants like you, but apparently it's okay for a duck, but not a dog. <laughs> Double standards, am I right? What? Double standards. Double standards? Double standards. I thought you said Colonel Sanders, <laughs> but you're a duck, not a chicken. <laughs> Rotate right twice. I just need something to eat. Here. Oh, I you're... want you to eat of my flesh. Okay. Uh, how? Um, probably with teeth. Okay, I'll just try it. Rotate right. <laughs> Pizza the Hut is a slug, okay? <laughs> and he also doesn't have any voting power in this here Senate. Everything you say is basically about race. No! Rotate <laughs> left twice! <laughs> Do you hear the people sing, singing the songs of angry men? Do it! Just shoot him! Just shoot him! Oh! Oh! oh no! No, you bastards! You can't copy him! He's one of a kind! Please carry on the legacy of FedEx. <laughs> Do you That's hear so hard, yeah. <laughs> I think that actually happened, right? Kinko's merged with FedEx, right? It was they bloody. Did. It was awful. It was a, well, we just saw the battle. Yeah. <laughs> right? All right, are you all ready for the next game? Woo! Woo! Our next game is called A Word From Our Sponsor. So can I please have two people here who would like to be a part of the talk show from the cast, please? Yay! Woo! So the way that this game works is, is that these two will be a talk show. Uh, can I get like a general discussion topic for these two to be discussing on their talk show? Politics. Oh. <laughs> sure, politics. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. It's Saturday night. Let's go. Uh, and then uh, the, way, the other people will be off stage and then throughout the entirety of this talk show, I will interrupt them by yelling, and now a word from our sponsors. And then the rest of the cast will be performing sort of like a commercial that's like an ad that goes in between these talk show segments, and then uh, we'll come back to the talk show every once in a while and see how the politics discussion is <laughs> going on. Uh, so for the cast members on the sidelines for their ads that they're gonna do, the words from the sponsor, can I get like a charity that just would not be a real charity? Save the billionaires. Save the billionaires, yeah. <laughs> Save the billionaires, you got that, Sean? Uh, cool. Um, can I get like a made up product? Like, what's a product that you think would revolutionize your life right now that doesn't exist right now? Coffee maker in the shower. Coffee maker in the shower? Ooh, awesome. Nobody steal that. Yeah. <laughs> it's her idea. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, last one, can I get like a movie trailer? So, we're gonna do a movie trailer. Uh, can I get the title of a made up movie? White bread. White bread? Yes. Cool. <laughs> White bread. So we have uh, Save the Billionaires, we have a uh, coffee maker in the shower, and then we have a movie trailer for White Bread, all during this political discussion. <laughs> uh, see you whenever you ready, go ahead and take it away. Go! The Galactic Senate, am I right? Oh, this <laughs> I, I am I am abhorring this Senate. <laughs> I I cannot stand that uh, that the rebels are being allowed to uh, you know shit on stuff. I heard they're harboring Jedi. Oh yes, uh, that's true. I spoke to someone, one of my contacts Wait, on the inside. You have contacts on the inside, of course. I'm Admiral Akbar. <laughs> and now we're from our sponsors. <laughs> challenging time for us billionaires. As you can see, Elon Musk is trying to buy a country. <laughs> but countries cost more than a billion at times, right? It does. It costs the people's opinion. And we want your opinion to matter. Oh, look, Warren Buffett is over here, and he's Shooting up right now, <laughs> but the good stuff. <laughs> oh, obviously, um, this is this is uh, blood from a healthy young man. Um, I do it to elongate my lifespan, but 
really, I just feel empty. It's okay. <laughs> Donate now. We are the world. <laughs> we are the billions. <laughs> we are the ones. <laughs> la, 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 la. So just start giving. And now back to our show. <laughs> that with enough money, they can just rebuild Tatooine. Rebuild Tatooine and both moons? Yes, both moons, because you need them for science. <laughs> we all know what happens on the second moon of Tatooine. Well, I know, but only because I have contacts on the inside. <laughs> Could you let us in on a little bit? Well, I don't know if you know it, but Obi-Wan's a huge racist. <laughs> <laughs> there have been rumblings. And uh, when he heard there were Gungans on that moon, he threw a little hissy fit, let me tell you what. No. He, he went a little... <laughs> <laughs> his saber was all over the place, and his robe flew open in the middle of the Senate. In the middle of the Senate. In the middle of the Senate, and let me tell you a story. And now we're from our sponsor. <laughs> Have you ever ended your day with a nice cold brewski in the shower? Well, now you can start your day with a cup of coffee in the shower. Oh, hey, brother. Hi, sis. <laughs> I'm glad we can share this experience of drinking coffee. Oh, I love it. It's just so pure. I feel even more caffeinated because the water's in my pores and the coffee's in my gullet. Oh. Your gullet, I've never seen it before. Yeah. Until my, now. My gullet? I don't know, yes. Hey, gullet. siblings. <laughs> oh, hey, Johnny. Do you guys have some coffee in that shower? We sure, sure do. Awesome, let me join. The best part of waking up <laughs> is showering together. And now, back to your show. The people need to wake up and know when the wool's being pulled over their eyes. Hey, I agree. I agree with you completely. The people need to wake up, absolutely. I can see from both sides of my head that this thing is going crazy. <laughs> Would you say that voting for the other side of the game? A trap? Yes. <laughs> it is always a trap. Yes. Uh, I believe that, uh, that people will try to uh, sway, sway the... The Tauntauns. <laughs> the Tauntaun have votes now. The Tauntaun vote uh, really sways things. <laughs> they better not cut that vote in half. Oh! And now we're from our sponsors. <laughs> Coming this fall. Oh, yeah. Coming this fall. In a world. With too many options. One man makes the brave move to choose simplicity. <laughs> it may be vanilla, but I'm a vanilla kind of guy. Wheat bread, dry bread, sour bread, all these voices in his head telling him to branch out. But he sticks to his gut. Wait, it was white, but now it's brown? <laughs> oh no, conflict! <laughs> You're not allowed in my house. Oh. Hey, man, I just want some of your bread. Well, take this. Oh, 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 it's too dry. <laughs> it's the summer sensation no one asked for. What have I done? Coming to theaters near you on May 25th, white bread. I feel like the mood for tonight is going to be a lot of political climate discussion <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away, and I'm so into it right now. Give it up for Sean now! Uh, for this next game, we're going to play a game uh, called Chain Murder, where I need one cast member to leave and three to exit the facility. Who is going to stay on stage? I'm staying on stage, we, And let's send three people out of the room. <laughs> All right. So this game is called Chain Murder. Uh, you might be familiar with like Clue and Telephone. This is kind of a mashup of those two games where I'm gonna get some suggestions. Uh, first of all, uh, this murder is gonna take place in a location. Uh, what's a non-geographical location that you would never expect a murder to take place? Nudist colony. <laughs> all right, uh, a nudist colony. Nudist colony. Uh, next, what I need is an occupation, okay? So an occupation totally disconnected from nudist colonies. Uh, what's an priest. occupation? A what? Priest. A priest, okay? <laughs> and next, I need a weapon. 
Unrelated to priests and nudist colony, what is a weapon? It's something that can never kill something. It's, it's a spatula. Mon a spatula, great. So we got ourselves a location, occupation, and weapon. What will happen is Dewey is the first person. He knows this information, but all the other three people don't know. And uh, the first person will come in, and Dewey will try to give them clues with pantomime and gibberish, trying to get them to guess location, occupation, and weapon. At some point, when the guesser knows what the weapon is, they're going to kill Dewey, and we're going to say, he's dead. Let's practice. He's dead! And at that point, Dwee is dead, and whoever came in second will be the new clue giver, and we're going to get all the way down to the fourth person and see how far we get. So just to review the location. Uh, the location is a nudist colony. The occupation. The occupation's a priest. And the weapon. The weapon's going to be a spatula. Great. So let's go ahead and welcome the first person by saying, get in here! Get, get in here! 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 Uh, I did not tell you this, but you actually only have three minutes to get all the way to the final person. Team, are you ready? Okay, yeah! Yeah! Three oh, minutes. Let's give it a scoop. 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 Oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Let's go. Oh. Sabada? Oh. Oh, 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 skip it up. Ah, skip it up. Ah, skip it up. Ah, oh, ah, 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 Oh, oh, so beautiful. Oh, let's go! Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ooh, ooh, mmm. Oh, oh, ah, oh. ska, ska, ah, ska, 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 to life, so... Damn, All right, please organize yourself in the order in which you died. Awesome, so we ready to make some money. Yeah. You want to make some money? Yeah. If, we, if you get this right, <laughs> I'm going to give you $10. Ooh. The location first. What is the location for $10? A spa. Oh, oh, no. oh sorry. Alex, for $5, I'm going to give you for that location. What is that location? Well, we know it's not a spa. Obviously, it's not a spa. It is, though, however, a relaxation center. No! Edgar, for $5, I, what do you think? What is the location? It is obviously a tanning bed. Oh. oh. 
walked away for zero dollars because you were in the room. Yeah. What was that location? We were in a nudist colony. A nudist oh, colony. oh, I would have done something oh, way different. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Don't worry. You still have a chance. We for five milk duds. <laughs> what was that uh, occupation? Pastor. Oh. Oh. Very close. What's something similar to that? It's obviously not a pastor. No. For three milk duds. It is a it is a priest. Hey! Now <laughs> that spatula. Wait. Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> Hot five hours today, so <laughs> forgive me. We do teach classes, so if you want to see me tired on a Saturday, uh, come here and take a class. Uh, for our next game, we're gonna play a game that's called 90 Second Alphabet. So for this game, I need uh, three cast members to play in this game, and they're gonna do a scene, but they are all, uh, they're gonna go through the entire alphabet, starting with what letter? What is the first letter that'll come out of their mouth? I heard J, okay, so the first word is J. So the first sentence begins with the letter J, and then after that, each next sentence that happens begins with the next letter of the alphabet, and they're gonna try to go all the way through the alphabet and back to J within 90 seconds. So can I please get a suggestion of a uh, situation, what's like an urgent situation that requires full attention? An emergency room is the suggestion, okay? And we're starting with the letter J. Emergency room, 90 seconds begins through two months ago. Just put it back in. Just put it back in! Ooh, kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is my first day. What do you expect from me? Medical work? <laughs> no, 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 not like this. Okay, everybody calm down, all right? Please, I've done this before. Please don't tell me to calm down. I'm freaking out. Quickly? This guy's bleeding out. Right, right, right. Okay, pressure, please. Just put a little pressure on there. Slow. Stiffly. <laughs> Slowly and stiffly. 60 seconds left. Plus, plus. Uh, uh. Very good, very, very good. Well, I don't know if thrusting is the right move at this point. X-ray. Send him to the X-ray. Yes, yes. Whoa, sounds. What do I know? Asthma. Ah, <laughs> breathing trouble. <laughs> uh, careful, careful now. Uh, he's still delicate. Thirty seconds. Dying. Uh, everybody, dying. everybody, touch him. <laughs> feels, feels good. Feels feel. good. Feels good. Gosh, feels. This this feels great. <laughs> Ten seconds. Here, let's get the blood toward the heart. I'll take it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, just, 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 suck just, it, suck just put it back in. <laughs> All right, we since you uh. Did you just call me we? Oh, sorry, we. Sorry. <laughs> he talked five hours today. He talked five hours. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> All right, our next game we're gonna be playing a game of freeze tag. Uh, this one actually we're gonna ask for an audience volunteer. If anybody likes to come up on stage and perform with us, uh, please feel free to raise your hand if you are willing to come up and play freeze tag with us. We're gonna make you all look good. Yeah, yeah, come on up. Nit. Nit. Yeah. Nit. 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 It's nice to meet you. So we're gonna be playing the game of freeze tag. Uh, the way that this works is that uh, somebody here will be doing a scene with you, possibly <laughs> with a lot of action, and then uh, at any point when, during the scene, uh, someone from the back line can yell freeze, and then they'll freeze on stage, and then they'll tag out that person, and then they'll initiate a brand new scene that you're gonna be in. So it's gonna be a totally <laughs> different scene. It's gonna be a lot of different scenes. Uh, you. Got it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a great person to start with, too, but I'm on a roll. Uh, for these two, can I get like an activity that has a lot of physical motion? Skateboarding? 
skateboarding. Yeah. Your suggestion is skateboarding, so team, when you're ready, go ahead. Hey, man, show me your ollie. I heard you're a legend around here. Here's your board. Yo, thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> Beautiful, darling. I like when you lean away from the camera. I want you to uh, now pose with your arms above your head like a god. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love it. I want a close-up like this. Yes. Freeze. Where did you put her? Where did you hide her? The, 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 the crawl space. No, the crawl space is the one place I would never check. Oh. You found me. You're safe. <laughs> And you're alive! Oh, thank you so much! Freeze! What do you mean, no? <laughs> no, just stop! <laughs> I can't. But oh. I brought this ring for you. I, I'm sorry. It's, there's another man, isn't there? Hmm? There's another man. No, it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> It's her, isn't it? She's not dead yet. Freeze! Is that what? <laughs> Paint me like one of your French women, Jack. Paint me! Get all the curves. More curves. All right, do I need to... Do it myself? I'm talking like this. Hourglass, Jack. All the way to my toes. <laughs> yes, you dropped it, and it's, it is hot. It is hot. I can see that. Yes. It's burning your hands. It Let burning. me take it. Ah! Yes. No, 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 you can't take it. Ah! Look. It's oh ruined gosh. my hand. Oh my gosh. It's insured for a million dollars and you ruined no, it. This Free! Is oh, we'll read your future. <laughs> this little piggy will go work at the bank. Freeze! Anakin, your new arm is incredible! It's made of metal! Except one thing I dislike. It's no longer human! <laughs> 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 intermission right now during this intermission please feel free to get up go ahead and use the restrooms men's restrooms over there women's restrooms over there uh, while you're up scan the QR codes to keep in the know with everything going on here at the made-up theater uh, and then uh, Justin in the box office is selling some sweet treats if you want to buy a sweet treat from him we'll be back in about five minutes ten, ten minutes we'll be back in about ten minutes Stay so, stay tuned,
audience right now, right? Is there a birthday somewhere? Yeah! All right, let's, do let's do a really quick birthday song. Uh, what's, your, what's your name? Amir. 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 All right, cool. Y'all ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. This is your birthday song. It is not very long. Yay! One more birthday. <laughs> awesome. Uh, wait, wait. This is the second verse. It's shorter than the first. <laughs> Give it up. All right, before we get started in the second half, can I please just get someone's initials, please? JK. JK? Oh, oh. JK. JK, y'all heard that? All right, cool. Uh, so here at the Made Up Theater, we teach classes. Uh, we teach a very very nice series of core classes uh, that are intro, scene study, games. Uh, you're basically going to be learning all the stuff that we're doing here. Again, scan those QR codes on your way out. Um, we also do team building events. Do you hate work? I hate work. Hire us. We'll come out. We'll make your coworkers funny. Right? Yeah, exactly. I have been a part of team buildings, and uh, they came out a lot funnier, too. So. Do that. Uh, we also host jams uh, twice I every month. Uh, it's the what, the first and third Fridays or something like that. Uh, yeah, we run jams. Just scan those QR codes on the side just to stay in the know of everything. Uh, cool. You guys need more time? I got one. All right, cool. What they've been doing is they've been thinking of games to play on the spot based on the initials of JK, and I was just stalling for time. Let's hear what Carolyn's game is. All right. My game based on the initials JK is called Jungle Kindergarten. Ooh. And it's about kids who crashed in the jungle and now they've formed their own society. And they're still gonna go to school. All right, cool. And at the end of this, you'll vote for what game you want to see. So remember these games. Next person up with the JK game, please. All right, I got this game called Just Kidding. Uh, we will have a scene uh, of the two very amicable uh, characters. And um, the host will say, say something mean. And they'll have to say something that the other character will, is dreading to hear. And then we'll say, just kidding, and continue the scene. Uh, my game is called Joy Killer. Uh, there's going to be a scene, and one person is designated the Joy Killer. Uh, everyone else is going to have a fun time. And uh, every so often, the Joy Killer will be a, a Debbie Downer. My uh, game is called Joke King. Um, <clears throat> Basically, each person will come up to the center of the stage and tell a joke, and the one that makes you all laugh the most will be crowned the joke king. Uh, my game is called Jousting Knights. 
So we're just going to be knights, and then we'll be having a scene, and then there will be conflict at some point, and then the host will yell, joust, and then you'll have to joust each other. Okay. All right. I'm into it. Uh, my game is called Jumping Knocks. So at any point during the scene, the host can knock on the wall or the floor, and then you have to do your scene jumping. <laughs> jumping. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and review the games. We'll start over there with Carolyn. Uh, we're not voting yet. This is just a refresher. So Carolyn, can you please remind us of your game? Yes. My game is called Jungle Kindergarten. It's like Lord of the Flies Junior. <laughs> my game is called Jumping Knocks, and you have to jump when you hear a knock. <laughs> <laughs> My game is called the Joke King. You uh, tell a joke, and uh, if you're good, you get crowned the king. <laughs> My game is called Just Kidding. The host will tell us to say something mean, and then we'll say, Just kidding. My game is Jousting Knights. We'll be having a scene, and then there eventually will be conflict that results in jousting. My game is Joy Killer, a happy scene ruined by the Joy Killer. All right, so now by a round of applause, we'll go around and vote. So if you'd like to see Carolyn's game, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Pretty good applause. So yeah, so his game. <laughs> been here before? Raise your hand. There's a lot of you, so probably most of you. You! Can you point at somebody and just, they will be classified as the joy killer. Who do you think can kill the most joy? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right there. That, that was the only answer. That was right. Uh, so, we're, uh, we're going to do like a happy scene. Uh, what is like a situation that brings joy? Or an event? Birth of a baby. Birth of a baby. So uh, we're gonna have a scene based around uh, birth of a baby and Alex. Again, it's a happy scene. Every so often, Alex will ruin the joy that is being made as the joy killer. Uh, birth of a baby is suggested. Take it away. Oh my gosh! Thank you all so much for coming. Do you want to hold her? Oh, oh 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 wow! You can do it. She's oh. not breakable. She's okay. actually pretty light. Yeah. Oh. She is so pretty. Thank you. Oh, oh, hi, hi, I just wanted to check in on you. Everything going great? Oh, she's so well. beautiful! Thank you! Oh, can I hold her? Of course! Uh, yeah. the, the doctor, oh! Oh, that's oh good, that's good reflexes! Yeah, good job! <laughs> anyway, the doctor's gonna come in and just do a little physical. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. Oh. Okay, you got you? a baby. Yeah, uh, yeah. this is her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Okay. whoa. Aren't you supposed to, like, support the <laughs> bottom? If you're holding them upside down, you don't have to support them. <laughs> Is this a reflex test? <laughs> kind of ugly. Whoa! <laughs> That's not true at all. Oh, oh it's a beautiful, beautiful baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. Baby, rest. Maybe you can come over and have a little nap. We, we got you a nice little assortment of jello and sorbet. Oh, thank you. Of course. This is your Gorgeous. day. Thank you. Oh. Is, is my baby ugly? No! Oh, no. Yeah. Show you. Oh, thank you. In fact, I think it's time to name the baby. Oh gosh, I've been thinking about this a long time. Um, I'm gonna name her Ninja. Oh, that's Ninja's such a cute name. It's so cute. Can I, I see love the picture? Ninjas. Yeah. Um, it's okay. not filtered. It's not filtered. It's not, not filtered. filtered. Hold on, let me put the filter. Okay, thank you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, what a beautiful baby! What a beautiful baby! Oh, baby. Um, Back. Oh, hi, hi doctor. doctor. Hi, doctor. Is everything okay? Well, I just need to check on a few things, namely the eyes. Um, okay. Of the baby. I, I, I'm thinking. Ooh. Of... What, what does that mean? Well, nine times out of ten, babies with eyes like these, where it's uh, <laughs> two centimeters off from the nose. Um, Nine times out of ten, in my experience, baby turns out to be a racist. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. It's just, it's, it's just, it's biological. It is probably something you did. Uh, oh, but one but time I'm, out of ten, here. though. One time out of ten. I have to go now. Okay. Oh, thank you, doctor. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the name. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her uh, Justice. 
Justice. Yeah, Justice. That's a beautiful name. That's a great name. She looks like a, she looks like a Justice. She does. Yeah, we can call her Justine. Oh, okay, Justice. good. So cute. I'm just going to lay her down for a All minute. All right. I uh, just want to check you guys out. It's about time. Yes, Doctor. Uh, so checking out baby's name is uh, blonde hair, blue eyed ninja. I, I, I changed it. I, I changed it. I'm gonna call her Justice. Oh, it's, it's already uh, social security office already has this name. <laughs> oh. Um, so blonde hair, blue eyes was my addition to your name, by the way. Just oh, it's because, part of the name now. Yeah, just because of what I observed about the eyes recently, I thought it might fit. So my baby's name is blonde hair, blue eyes Justice. Ninja. Your baby could be a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah! Oh, that'd be great. Would that be good? <laughs> oh. I'll uh, let you pack your things. Uh, I have to leave immediately. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay! We all have that one friend that just kills all the joy, don't we? All right. For our next game, we're gonna play. Uh, Something a little bit uh, involving a, a date, okay? Uh, it's called Fusion Dating. Can I get the cast on stage and uh, organize yourselves into two pairs? Uh, what's like a, a place you have gone to on a first date? <laughs> a place you've gone to on a what's first date. What's a place you date? dreamed of going on a first date? What was that? Wedding. You went to a first date at a wedding? Wow. Okay. I've had that yeah. happen before. It's wild. <laughs> So this is going to be a first date at a wedding, and uh, the way it works is uh, Dewey and we are going to be speaking, but they're going to be speaking as one person, which means they're going to speak one word at a time. Uh, so just to practice that, hey, uh, uh, how, how's your day going? My day is great. There you go, perfect. <laughs> uh, and then Carolyn and Alex are going to be another person, but they're going to actually, a little bit different, they're going to be speaking at the exact same time, okay? Uh, so an example is, uh, hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, well, I'm, I'm going, going to, to eat an LED light. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> so, uh, we have the suggestion first date. This is at a wedding. Please take away. So, how do you know the groom? <laughs> <laughs> well, I met him in college. You went to college? <laughs> of course. I went to college. I went to U S C. Whoa! Excuse me! <laughs> How do you like being here? Well, it's, it's a, a little, little awkward because I used to date, date the bride. <laughs> when was that? Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday. And Tuesday. And Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is such a cool story. <laughs> Yeah. yeah! Is, is it? it? <laughs> Good. We here our <laughs> story? Sure! sure. You, you <laughs> went to USC! USC. <laughs> no! Uh, Dwayne, what are we going to play next? We're going to be playing the game of Stunt Double! Woo! So the way that this game works is that two people are going to be doing a scene, and did you know that in movies they have these things where, like, they don't actually do the stunts themselves? <laughs> Crazy, right? So then they hired these stunt doubles. Uh, so we're actually going to get ready to do some high-energy, high-action stuff right now. Uh, so Hui and Sean are going to be doing a scene at any point when they're about to do any sort of activity. They can yell out, STUNT DOUBLE! And then their stunt doubles will come on and take the stage and do some actions and stuff like that. Uh, with a little bit of music to complicate, uh, to, to, to score it. Um, so yeah, and then uh, 
At some point, once the action is done, then the two will come back to the stage, and then the scene will continue, right? Uh, cool. For these two, can I just get a date or like some some kind of grandiose adventure that you can go on? Treasure hunting. So y'all are treasure hunters. So team, are you ready? Yes. Take it yeah. <laughs> Man, we've been here all day. No sign. There's nothing here. It's just beeping. <sighs> maybe this is just. Maybe this is all pointless. No, no, no. We found that map in the attic. It's got to lead to something. Did you hear that? It's right here. We gotta start digging. Get the shovels. But also, stunt double. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow! The skulls of Blackbeard! <laughs> it's still clapping! It's amazing! Maybe there's more down there, but our shovels won't work. No, we have to dig with our hands? Uh, or, or, I brought this. I didn't want to use it. Yeah. It's a high energy drill. The same drill they used in Armageddon. Oh. We should use it. Yes. Stunt double! It's just a old Butterfinger. Came Wait. all this way for nothing. Wait. Hmm? Did you unwrap it? <laughs> Wait. I don't know if we should. Stop <laughs> <Not> double! <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just a butterfinger. <laughs> hey, Dewey. Yeah, Sean. You know that scene about uh, USC? Yeah. You know what? That, that reminds me of my college years. Yeah? We all went to college, right? We all went to college, yeah. We all had those guys and those gals who had those nicknames. Yeah. Well, we're going to play a game that's called College Nickname. Can I get the castle on stage? <laughs> What's gonna happen is this is a little, little pun game where they're gonna kind of tell jokes on the spot. Potentially one of us will be a king afterwards. Um, and uh, it's gonna be inspired by some type of uh, suggestion that you give me. So for example, it might be cow. Um, and each one will come out and say, you know, uh, they, in college they used to call me the cow. And then you're all gonna say, why? Everyone do that? Why? why? And then they'll supply a punchline, okay? Like what? Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, they, they used to call me the cow. Why? Uh, because uh, I was a delinquent and I usually ended up grounded. Oh! Uh, like ground beef, you know? Yeah. Oh! But here's the thing. I don't have to tell these jokes. They do. So, uh, can I get a suggestion of what is an animal that's a little less typical, like a dog or a cat? What's a different type of animal? A what? A pig. pig. Pig is a suggestion. Take away with pig. <clears throat> they used to call me the pig in college. Why? Why? I ate everything. <laughs> they used to call me the pig in college. Why? Because no one ever saw me sweat. Hey. <laughs> Oh, please. They used to call me the pig in college. Why? Because I was always drinking the swine. <laughs> <laughs> they used to call me the pig in college. Why? 
because I was always porking. <laughs> True story, Alex. Uh, what is an occupation? Uh, how about an occupation that when you were a kid you wanted to be this, like an astronaut, but maybe something a little more personal to you? Like I used to want to be a storm chaser when I was a young kid. I was a weirdo. <laughs> What's a weird thing you wanted to be when you grew up? A belly dancer. Yes. Okay, they used to call me the belly dancer as a suggestion. Take away. They used to call me the belly dancer in college. Why? Wow. I'd only really start dancing once I started taking tequila shots out of people's belly buttons. That's <laughs> they used to call me the belly dancer in college. Why? Because it turns out I have IBS. <laughs> They used to call me the belly dancer in college. Why? I just really like the Goonies. Oh. <laughs> Great. Uh, what is like a, a character from fiction? Like uh, some type of cartoon or something that's like a movie? <laughs> uh, since we did that already, what, what, what's like a different, not Star Wars, what's a different <laughs> fictional universe? Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. They used to call me Tinkerbell. Thank you. They used to call me Tinkerbell in college. Why? Because people had to clap for me to get it up. <laughs> <laughs> they used to call me Tinkerbell in college. Why? Because my parents never believed in me. No. <laughs> they used to call me Tinkerbell in college. Why? Because I would bring the boys back to my dorm and then they would eventually be lost because <laughs> death. <laughs> <laughs> they used to call me Tinkerbell in college. Because they always shook me for the powder. Ah! Awesome. Can I get a uh, pretty well-known celebrity who's not on trial or in trouble right now? <laughs> what? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Thank you. Bradley Cooper is the suggestion. They used to call me Bradley Cooper in college. Why? I was really shallow. <laughs> that's good, that's good. They used to call me Bradley Cooper in college. Why? I was really good with the conducting stick. Hey. <laughs> hey. They used to call me Bradley Cooper in college. Why? Because I always had a hangover. <laughs> Great. Uh, anything at all? What's like a weird nickname? Weird nickname, it could be anything. <laughs> what? Goof Troop. Gertrude? Goof Troop. Oh, Goof Troop, sorry. Goof, goof, goof Troop, so like goofy in game. Yeah. Uh, goof Troop is the suggestion. They used to call me Goof Troop back in college. Why? Because I would do everything to the max. <laughs> <laughs> They used to call me the goof troop in college. Why? Well, gosh. <laughs> uh, Three's gonna do one on the spot, too. Hey. Uh, what's another weird nickname? Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces, you gonna do it on the spot, go. Okay, uh, they used to call me Reese's Pieces in college. Why? Uh, Cause I was a weirdo, I was like an extraterrestrial. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's another suggestion? Poochie. Poochie? Poochie. Poochie, like, is it, are you talking about Poochie from Simpsons? No, that's a weird nickname that you have. <laughs> Poochie? <laughs> Sounds good. Poochie is your suggestion. <laughs> Whatever that makes you think of. <laughs> they used to call me Poochie in college. Why? Because that's where I put my weed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. We're gonna go down to our last game of the night. It's gonna oh. be the game of Greatest Hits. Woo! We're gonna be doing some singing for y'all. Uh, so I need two DJs to take these two seats, please. And the way that this game works is that we have two DJs here that are gonna pitch a compilation album to the rest of the cast members, and then the rest of the cast members are gonna sing the songs in which uh, these two DJs name them. Uh, also, maybe including a genre, too, along the lines of, like, you know, the rock song based on whatever your suggestion is. So what's, like, a compilation album? What's, like, this is a compilation album of songs that aren't really a normal. Like, what's this compilation album songs about? Like, plumbers or something like that, so. Nursing homes. Nursing homes? So this is, uh, this is the greatest hits 
the compilation album of Nursing Home. So you two, whenever you're ready, go ahead and take it away. <laughs> How great! Yeah, oh my gosh. I've got the perfect album for you guys. This has been on the greatest hits, number one for four weeks four already. Four weeks nonstop. That's almost a month. Yes. And we have it playing on loop. You know what? My One of my favorite songs on this nursing home album? It's gotta be Someone Stole My Dentures. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> You're right. Yes. Hit it! <laughs> hey there, Chuck. I haven't seen you in a good old-fashioned while. Oh, well, what's that there? <laughs> oh, no, I don't think you have a smile. <laughs> Where your dentures at? Come on through my dentures! Where your dentures at? Come on through my dentures! Where your dentures at? Come on through my dentures! <laughs> great one. That's a great one. But you know, when I want to get into a bit of a sad mood, a little somber mood, I like to put on a ballad. And what better ballad than Jello again, my old friend? Those are good for without the dentures. Let's hear it. Yes. Hello, I'm back again. The cafeteria where I see all my friends. Nourishment and community. All I want is something new to eat. But that damn lunch lady, all that she ever gave me, Gelatinous, gooey, icky stuff. She always put jello in my cup. Jello. It's alive, jello. My old friend. It's alive, jello. Jello. It's alive, jello. My friends are dead. Jello. Tears. I know. Tears. I think it's very my makeup. Oh, I know. Yeah. Let's oh, not think about it. My second favorite track. Actually, this might be my first favorite. No yeah. way. Yeah. New favorite. New favorite. What? Okay, because it's kind of like K-pop. Wow. Yes. <laughs> you gotta hear it. It is Meta Musil Munchie. Oh, I love it! Let's hear it! Hey! We got a new song we gotta put out. It's like K-pop, but it's just like it. It's not K-pop. Right. Just similar. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's get high. Woo! Let's get high. Let's get high. Metamucil munchies. What you see? Fiber. <laughs> so much fiber. I just want to consume things that'll flush me out. I need fiber. What do you see? I see a smooth move coming all the way through my digestive tract. It's not getting blocked up anywhere. It's just Flowing freely, medicinal munchies. Now do that K-pop dance, but it's just like K-pop, not actually K-pop. The bowel movement? up on Spotify we just made that playlist actually so feel free to search it up on Spotify but that's the end of our show for tonight yeah. give it up for the cast give it up for the cast
thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Uh, we are an independent theater. So if you liked the show tonight, please feel free to throw some donations in the liked it bucket. If you didn't like me at all, just feel free to throw some money in the disliked it bucket. I get fueled by hate. Uh, you all have been such a wonderful audience tonight that we're actually thinking about doing another third act. Uh, a little bit extra. A little bit extra, a little bit more of a long form. Uh, more free form, free form improv, uh, but the show will let out at 10, so we're gonna take maybe like a five to 10 minute break, but we'll be back with some more. If you all want, wanna stick around, we'll for sure let out by 10, but y'all have been so wonderful tonight. Thank you all so much for coming out. Give it up for yourselves. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out. Uh, we'll see some of you. Feel free to stick around.
appreciate it. We've got one more quick thing for you. It's just a little free form, which means we're just gonna do a little opening that you'll see in just a moment, and then just a series of scenes inspired by stuff that happens throughout the rest of the night. Uh, who out there hasn't checked their voicemail in a long time? Like a long time. Anyone out there not checked their voicemail in a really long time? I mean, I have it. Or like, you know, at least a week. You. Uh, what's your name? Bard. Bard? Bard, yeah, B-A-R-D. Cool, yes. Bard. Thank you, Bard. Uh, Bard, uh, I want to just get a few quick little bits of information. Uh, what do you do right now? Is it like a job or a routine? Anything you're doing? I'm a caregiver right now, yeah. You're a caregiver. Thank you. Uh, Adults or children? Uh, senior citizens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is a hobby that you enjoy doing when you're not working? Uh, playing music. Playing music? What type of music? I just like guitar. Cool. I mean, like, yeah, do you mean genre? Or, uh, Anything. Just so you play the guitar? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, what is, like, something you hope to do in the next, like, five years? Maybe it's just something uh, as, like, a bucket list item or just something you really want to do? Like a goal? Uh, get married. Oh! oh. oh. And you look to that person. Hey! hey! Check that. Yeah, right? Uh, what's, your, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, thank you so much. So, uh, Bard, what I want you to do is uh, I want you to record just a very short answering machine uh, greeting message, just very short, uh, after I say beep, and then after that you will receive some messages from some people you haven't heard from in a while, okay? So, beep! Hey, uh, uh, thinking about you after the... Uh, <laughs> Want to check it? <laughs> nice and general, I love it. Uh, awesome, Bard, you have some messages. <laughs> Beep. Bard. Bard. Bard, is this you or a machine? Bard. I need to change the bird cage. <laughs> the bottom of the bird cage, Bard. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Beep. Hey, Bard, this is your wedding planner. Um, just wanted to give you a call because, like, you're asking for a lot of peanut butter and jelly right now. <laughs> Why do we need gallons and gallons of Jif and gallons and gallons of Smuckers? But, like, you don't want them combined into just one jar? You want them separate? And extra crunchy? And grape jelly? I have a lot of questions. Please just call me back. Like, this wasn't on your fiance's list at all. Beep. Bard, it's Bard. Bella. You know, we went on that hinge date, like, a while ago, and I thought we really hit it off, but I haven't heard from you, and you said that, you know, you could see yourself marrying someone like me, and I just, I just don't know what, what happened. Is it because I, I, I got goober? You don't like peanut butter and jelly in the same jar? Um, I don't, I don't know. I was just thinking about you, but, um, if you don't call me back, I'm gonna keep calling you, and, um, I, I need an explanation. Ooh. Bye. <laughs> hey, bud! It's your buddy Frank! We got a jam soon! I haven't heard from you in a long time, man! I haven't gotten any invites, man! I haven't even heard from you since the great peanut butter incident! Call me, man! I'll keep in touch! Beep! Hey Bard, it's Shredder calling you about the audition. Uh, we're down to take you, but you gotta leave your friend at home, man. He can't jam with us. Uh, if that's okay with you, uh, just give Shredder a call back, okay? We'd love to have you on a guitar. Beep. Beep. Uh, hey Bard, this is Kevin Philanderer calling from the Guitar Center. Uh, you had bought uh, strings from us back in 2021. Uh, I assume that was a pandemic uh, uh, hobby purchase. I, I don't know, I don't want to. I just wanted to uh, reach out to see if you needed any more gear uh, that could suit, suit you at this time. Um, you can always reach me at 510. <laughs> Three, uh, hold on a second. Uh, three, 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 four, three, three, three. <laughs> Bye, Hawkins. Hey, 
Hello. <laughs> It's me, your evil twin, Drab! Yes, I finally found you. I traced you to this location. I'm outside biding my time. That's right. I have a triangle. Ding, ding. And I'm a caretaker! Anything you can do, I can do opposite. I'll meet you tonight at the crack of midnight. Now the lights will go out. New base. Yeah. Cool. Oh, five string. Yeah. Sick. Show me a riff. I don't know how to play. Oh. I just spent a lot of money on it, man, and I, I don't know how to play it. It looks so easy. Bass is just like. But when I try it, it doesn't sound like that. Excuse me. I'm a record producer. I heard a wonderful sound coming from this room. Do Do you mean? Dumb. It was like. It was an excellent riff. Oh, who who played it? I mean, we kind of did it together. Uh, it was mostly me. <laughs> I want to sign you right now. Okay. Here's a ten million dollar contract. Okay. I'm so sorry. Five years later. <laughs> wow. That was some concert. Yeah. I heard Taylor wants to have your babies. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. Because I'm awesome. That was a crazy. <laughs> you know, I remember five years ago. Yeah. When you came over and I was practicing the bass, mm. and I told you how I thought that bass was gonna sound, and it sounded fucking awesome. The sound that I made with my mouth. <laughs> and then, now you're famous, and you have a ten million dollar contract, and you have Taylor Swift in your bed. All I remember from that night was you crying on your bed without, obviously Taylor wasn't there, like she is in mine, but you were just crying on your bed because you didn't know how to play bass. You thought it was easy and then you couldn't do it, and then you, and then you sucked. So, uh, so, I, I so, so we're both remembering the night. Of course. Like, what can you do to help a friend out? Like, you know, like, I, I'm still eating ramen, and you're eating caviar-covered filet mignon. Yes. Um, well, we, uh, is that the, is that the? That is the fanciest PB&J I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's caviar custard, sir. Thank you. Uh, you don't even like fish. No, but the eggs, <laughs> before they're actual fish. <laughs> Yes? More goober. More? <laughs> More. This can't possibly be healthy. I'm already almost dead. Do you have a point? <laughs> Why do you have to leave it so high up? Because it's fun to watch you. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. This is a workspace for me. We can't do this. Why not? <laughs> What are they going to do to me? Maybe if they had some sexy music. <laughs> I sure am glad there's no sexy music playing. Here's your goober. Feed me. <laughs> Feed me, bard. With my fingers again? <laughs> sure. Two this time. Does that suit you? <laughs> this reminds me of the good old days. Oh. Your mom's really fine, Jerry. <laughs> okay, like. Hi, son. This is what they've been doing to me. Is this the music that they play when I'm not here? <laughs> I thought it's usually just elevator music, but this doesn't sound like elevator music at all. Mom! Yes, son. 
This is Bari. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Like we have a really different idea of what sexy music is, and that put me to sleep. I, I don't know how you can miss it. It's in, it's all in the, the timber of the bell. I can't look in your eyes for four hours before we do anything. Well, you're gonna have to get used to it because four hours is what it takes for me to get it up. Well, I'm also uncomfortable with the live band in the room. <laughs> can we start again? Yes, please, just, just, well, give us a minute, all right? Give us a minute. Can you do anything like a little bit more up tempo? Like, Excuse me, I'm a record oh. producer. I heard this wonderful sound. I'd like to sign you to a hundred million dollar contract. Yes. Uh, uh, sir, sir, it was mostly me. <laughs> Oh, hey, sorry. Travis Kelsey was just uh, in my bed. <laughs> You're swiping a lot. I know. I, I have really high standards. <laughs> it's also really weird because I feel like you were swiping on a fucking iPad. I know. <laughs> um, you're next for karaoke and you, you it's in like a minute, so... Shit, karaoke? Yeah, I right. forgot that too. Man, I don't think I'm ever going to find love. Maybe I'll just find love when I read that teleprompter tonight. What song are you going to sing? Well, probably a, not a... Not a copyright song. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, that's fair. I I don't like copyright music. I prefer mine to be license free. Really? Yeah. That's that's really I didn't know that about you. <laughs> but that's fine. Like we can get to know each other and stuff like that. I'm just here browsing through the license free you wanna sit here and browse through the license free options? Look. <laughs> Let's just go up there and wing it. Please welcome to the stage our next Mario Christine. Woo! Hold on. I'm a lot shorter than you. Thank you. You can bend down, it's harder for me to get on my tippy toes. It's okay. Yeah? I like your level. You're leveling with me right now? Yeah. All right, folks, we're bringing up a royalty-free favorite. <laughs> we don't want to get copy striped here. Yeah, I get it. A karaoke it's R.S. Right. I, I chose song number four. Four? Yeah. That's my favorite song. I know. It's called... Goobin' Around. <laughs> <laughs> with you. <laughs> Look, read right there, the lyrics. Goobin' around with you. Goobin' around with you. G. That means go with your heart. O. That means oh my god. O. Again. <laughs> oh my god. We want you to be mine. Just I, but you, and nice time to meet ya. Gee, that is goobin' around. We come full circle when we goob around. Oh yeah, let's clap for the peanut butter and jelly bars. Peanut butter and jelly Yeah. Oh, 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 o
would like to I would like to sign you right now. Here's a ten million dollar contract. What do you say? Let's sign it together. Because that's good. <laughs> contribute to our buckets but other than that hope to see you soon let people know about us word of mouth helps us amazingly here at made up theater let's give them a nice little dating game kiss goodbye